guys. Hi guys. Welcome to another of our videos. I hope you guys are enjoying this series of us sharing our secrets to our happy marriage. Uh, today we're going to be talking about vacation and public holidays and how again this can be another source of conflict and arguing within a relationship because there could be two different styles of what your partner thinks is vacation and relaxation time and fun the other partner could think mm. it's an absolute nightmare and then the same as public holidays is christmas something that you're gonna fight over who's yeah. where you're gonna stay at your parents my parents our house again this is a subject that couples fight yeah. over quite a lot and mm. this is something that we again we discussed, we discussed earlier on in the relationship exactly we wanted to run these yeah, yeah what's gonna happen so so yeah let's fire away um, I mean, the, the first thing we'll discuss is uh um, which we did sit down and talk about yeah was um what we were going to do for things like birthdays and like christmas and, yes uh, obviously in america you have thanksgiving we have easter which you have easter there um these are the things that you need to discuss like new years mm -hmm. uh, at that point you guys might have a tradition in one of your families yeah where you go to christmas to your mum and dad's for one week that's it now for me, I might say, wait a minute, my parents go away for Christmas and we get a log cabin somewhere and we all have Christmas dinner there as a family. Yes, yeah. And you might say, wait a minute, but I like spending Christmas at home mm. with my mum and dad somewhere else. Yeah. Uh, and at that point, you could end up fighting a lot yes. about this because it could mean a lot to both of you. That's it. And it could also mean a lot to the families. So the families problem, could start, they're involved now. Yeah, they yeah. could start putting their input and their influences Causing and arguments. their upsets and or your his family is always trying to steal you away from us guys yeah. and vice versa and it could end up causing a lot of conflict mm. because not only are you involved your families are also involved mm. and they're putting in their two pence worth mm. of um of um opinions and stuff like that mm. so so i mean the way we the way we did it with stuff like christmas was um some christmases we went to my mum and dad's yeah and like for example last year we spent two weeks during christmas at their house because they said come over yeah uh spend the two weeks here yeah so we're like cool we went around there i said prima are you okay with that i said i'll yeah. let you know yeah because you definitely don't want to say yeah we're definitely doing it it's not fair on the other in-laws that yeah. might want you around theirs yeah don't make or, a commitment yeah so you definitely want to discuss these things because you want to make sure that you don't make any commitments and That's that it. your wife has an opportunity or your husband has an opportunity to say wait a minute mm. i want to do something completely different yes. i don't want to want to spend it you might not want to spend it with anyone yeah. you might just say wait a minute i want to go abroad just you me and the kids yeah so you need to decide what your uh the, the pattern of your holidays are going yeah. to be like it's like you're having almost like a game plan in place that's it and they're not being caught out by either that's it one person's parents calling up early on let's say in october and saying oh can you come to us or you know what i mean because yeah. you want to be cut off whereas one one group of parents might be like oh wait a minute let's jump the gun and let's say in yes. february or earlier in the year yeah and say look guys can you come to us for christmas and the other parents might just decide to start organizing in october yeah and like prima like, saying and at that point you're like oh, oh. okay <laughs> and then they kind of both families will start falling out with each other because they, mm. the other family is just jumping the gun exactly and they're not even entertaining us that's it from the other side of the family so yeah you don't want to create yeah. sort of like a tug of war almost like a war yeah, yeah. with the families it's about saying okay mom and dad what did you do for instance when it was christmas and then they can give you tips of how they dealt with christmas and stuff like that so it's just like trying to take the stress away of thanksgiving mm. of christmas of any sort of like all those holidays Definitely. And then maybe compromise and saying, okay, maybe we we'll go to Christmas to your parents. Yeah, and let the family know about this sort yeah. of mentality. Yeah. Then yeah. maybe Thanksgiving we're gonna go to, to my, my parents, parents and, and then, then the next year we'll switch it up, up. and do it the other way around. That's it. Yeah. And some years what we'll do, we won't go to anyone's Anyone. and we'll just do it at ours and they can either come to ours or we can go away. Exactly. And like I said, get a place get away from a, it. A cabin. Yeah. Go stay somewhere. Yeah. Uh, in the the like woods somewhere be quite snowy, nice. snowy hills or yeah. whatever in the woods <laughs> and just spend our christmas or thanksgiving there yeah just us and the kids and no one else and we'll make it clear to family that's the start that we're gonna this is the way we're gonna run it mm. but you could also have where one family celebrates thanksgiving more yes than they celebrate christmas yeah or easter more than they celebrate or halloween more than they celebrate yeah christmas so then you say okay that makes it easier now because what we'll do we'll always celebrate halloween with you guys because my family's not really bothered. Yeah. And we'll always send Christmas at 
my yeah, family's health, health. Yeah. and then hopefully that's beating the argument there. So discuss that. That's Make it. sure you discuss that beforehand about holidays mm. in that context with yeah. families involved because you're going to end up upsetting a lot of people. People, yeah, because mm-hmm. like now I'm not, you're not going to yeah. get upset, you're going to, oh your parents are this and then you're going to upset my parents other, and yeah. then it's like conflict between you two and then on top of it your family is going to be involved. So yeah, so definitely yeah. like always have in mind about holidays, Thanksgiving and all that stuff and just have a game plan in place. It's even something you could talk to your parents, both of you, and say like, before this subject comes up, this is what we're going to do. So yeah. then everyone knows straight off, this is what's going to happen yeah. and there's not going to be arguments. Especially if you get married like in October and Christmas is like a Thanksgiving right around so right the corner. corner. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> bang, the competition begins. Straight away. Your family or you and your partner. Yeah. And you're not there to fight each other. Like I said, you're a team. That's it. So you definitely don't want that. Mm. Um, and another thing we discussed was like uh, yeah. holidays, like actually holidays away from work. Yeah, yeah. So Isn't your it? own vacations, your That's own it. holidays. Mm. So uh, we definitely agree that we are different with yes. what we think is a good holiday. Yeah. Uh, Primrose likes. Primrose is uh, able to uh, rough it out. Yeah. She doesn't mind doing like things like that are off the. The no. chart, yeah. Like my <laughs> like my holidays, I tell you my holidays. My holidays, a bit of beach, yeah. a, uh, go out into town, drink, party, uh, dress up nice, nice restaurants, nice hotel, right? Yeah. Luxury, uh, so, a bit of sightseeing. So yeah. luxury holiday. Yeah. Primrose is either the beach. Yeah. Uh, so chill out the beach. Yeah. Or. Um, Doing some sort of, yeah, doing some sort of activity. Yeah, like there. Like if I go, oh babe, let's go climb Mount Kilimanjaro. Yeah, Mount Kilimanjaro. You'll be like, oh my god, yeah. that's my idea of hell. And for me, yeah. it's like the adrenaline, it's the excitement. But you spoke about this to me a long time yeah. ago. Yeah, and I like, I was like, oh, what about swimming with sharks and stuff yeah. like that? That's my idea of like yeah. something that's acts actually gets me excited yeah and for you for me like, not what really the hell yeah, i'm me, not yeah doing for that. me it's more about getting suited and booted going out to a club or a nice <laughs> restaurant a nice bar a few drinks you yeah. know what i mean like things so, like that so, so we did compromise on that didn't we yeah we did and i was like for oh, example babe, uh, you talked to me about doing maybe camping and stuff and yeah, I, said, I was no like, way in hell yeah i was <laughs> like you know what but for the kids i want to show them like how to make fire out of nothing i want them to like be in nature yeah. And it's exciting sleeping outside under yeah. the stars, and you're just like, oh my god, that's like, oh absolutely god, hell. All these and I can't get clean. Yeah, and like, like I'm not gonna get comfortable at night. So, so Ian, you did a couple of days of research, didn't you? Yeah. You came up with something else. Yeah. What? So then I, I found yeah. out like this thing called glamping, where basically it's camping, but you're sort of like meeting in the middle. So it's so glamorous camping. It's glamping. glamorous camping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you're still sleeping in a tent, but you've got all your. You've got home a shower. Comforts. You've got a kitchen in there. Yeah. You've got a nice got warm bed water. in there. Heating. Too much, yeah. Yeah, you've got everything. So, <laughs> but you, it looks like a tent on the outside, and when you come out, yeah, then you're in the wilderness. And mostly, yeah, be, mostly yeah. like you're on a farm with like a acres farm. and acres of land. Yeah. So you are like literally in the middle of nowhere. And uh, the one I found was like the farm uh, people will bring like breakfast if you want Food, it, yeah. and they will deliver you like fresh bacon, fresh. fresh you eggs. can do like barbecue, can't yeah, you? Yeah, you've got like a stove, and you can do lots of things, and mm. it's actually really exciting. I was like, oh, I'm excited about that. If it's something yeah. that you can meet halfway. So then I presented so we were lucky, it to yeah, you. We we actually compromised there, and that, yeah. that's important. Again, you can fight about your holidays, but you can say, wait a minute, all you like doing is rambling and yeah. walking around and uh, climbing up mountains. I don't like doing that. That's yeah. not a good holiday for me. My holiday is a bit of sightseeing, nice restaurants, yeah, good bars. And know, I could be like, well, like, I, I can that. do that in England. Because Why I like, am I, I do that? Because I love to party and drink yeah. and go out and stuff like that. Prim doesn't party and drink. No. So when we went to Cape Town in uh, 2010. Uh, it was the World Cup was on the Football World Cup, as I said, and in Barbados when we went together that time round, yeah. and we went on our honeymoon together. Yeah, I wanted to go out partying quite a bit, and yeah. Primrose came along. She didn't complain. No, she did it to make me happy. Yeah, we compromised. That's it. We didn't do it every day. No. We did it every couple of days. Yeah. So I did enough of it that I was happy. Exactly. Which is what I want. That's and, fine for me. And for me, yeah. you then like. Okay, we're gonna do the sightseeing. We're gonna go on, like when we were in Thailand. Yeah. When we were in Thailand, we went on the boat and we went to like the Golden Buddha. Uh, yeah. And yeah. And so that was like something that I found it really interesting to like go and see mm. the Golden Buddha in the middle of nowhere, to see the temples and Done stuff like that. that. So we did all that. So it's about like okay, when we're creating compromise. the holidays, how can we compromise, compromise? on what each other like rather yeah. than argue? I don't like that. I'm not doing it. And there are it. a lot of couples that do that. Yeah. And then on yeah. top of it, we said okay, babe. 
you like your partying and all this crazy stuff and like for me that's a bit stressful I don't really like loud noises and all that stuff and you're like you know what you like being in the middle of nowhere it's quiet you like doing your meditation mm -hmm. and all that stuff spirituality yeah stuff that you don't yeah. find interesting so we, again we compromise, compromise and say okay if you want that type of holiday why don't you go with your friends and yeah. do that stuff and that's I was like yeah thing, cool yeah. I'll go with my friends who are into the similar stuff like that, I'll go to Bali and go and do my meditation and mm. climb temples and go and I don't know bath under water fountains and all that stuff. Be with nature, and then you go with your friends and, and do party and drink. gamble in Vegas or whatever. Yeah, yeah. she doesn't mind. But yeah. we talked about but it. But we talked we? about it because yeah. then you are getting the type of holiday that you want. Yeah. And plus, you're still getting that freedom, so that goes back into having freedom. Right. So that's good. Yeah. Uh, for your relationship, again, you're, hopefully you're not going to argue and you can trust each other. That's it. Um, but yeah, vacation is so important to discuss. Mm. And like I said, the partying is one thing. Someone, one other person might like uh, going to Universal Studios or Disneyland. Yeah. And like, uh, you know, Mickey Mouse and stuff like that. Yeah. But the other person might say, wait a minute, I hate that stuff. <laughs> yeah. The last thing I want to see is some goofy yeah. dressed up in a costume running around annoying me. Yeah. I hate that. I'm not doing it. Exactly. You can't be like that. Because yeah. in the end, you're just going to hate each other because you're going to say, you never let me have any fun. Mm. And I see again, that's going to mean that your marriage is going to probably end up breaking up along with every other issue that you have. Yeah. So we discussed all this and yeah. we compromise on everything. That's it. So yeah, so, it's about, yeah, just communicate what's your idea of fun. Your partner yeah. can say what their idea of fun is. What's my idea of fun? And if we can't really meet in the middle or we still want our idea of fun, it's mm -hmm. like, okay, fine. Go out to, go with your friends. Go take a week off. Go with your friends. Go do whatever it, it is that makes you rejuvenize, then feel happy. Yeah. Whereas, like, I don't want to force Jazz and say, you have to come uh, come camping yes, with me. Yeah, camping. And you're just going to absolutely be miserable, hate every moment. Mm -hmm. How is that your holiday? No, but you, again, your again I still think you should definitely compromise. And that's where we compromise on that glamping thing. thing. Yeah. So, this is really important. And that shows yeah. you how we are, I think, as yeah, a couple. Yeah, exactly. Like, we definitely mm. discuss and compromise. Yeah. And it's a good compromise. That was a brilliant compromise. I was quite impressed. I was like, yeah, wow, yeah. okay. But yeah. it's, it's good because, like, we all are still, like, saying, Again, you came into this relationship with your own personality, with your own likes and dislikes. I came the same in this relationship. So always we want to make sure that the, our own personalities mm. and our own individualities they grow, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, remain there, That's remain amazing. intact. Yeah. We don't have to just merge into one and person and just be other, miserable. Yeah. Being yeah. this one person, isn't Being it? Being this one boring person. Yeah. yeah. So, no, you're right. so yeah, so that's really how we deal with like uh, Christmas, vacations, and all that stuff that causes arguments and stress. Mm -hmm. We try as much as possible to elim eliminate our stress, arguments away from our relationship. And again, that's just through communicating what we like, what we expect from each other, and just being honest. Mm -hmm. There's no shaming, there's no blaming. Oh, why do you always want to gamble and party? Mm -hmm. You are not a child anymore. I mean, obviously, I mean, like I mean if you're a gambler, you're a gambler. But as in, if you want to go to Vegas and gamble and drink and have a good time, yeah, go to nightclubs and dance and mm -hmm. whatever you want to do, because you might enjoy raving, you know, yeah. like everything. So it's like, look, as long as that balance, Go and do what you want to do, which makes you that actually makes you rejuvenate. Like that's said, it. Yeah. If, exactly. you, if that's your holiday, yeah, that's your holiday. That's how you recharge yeah. your batteries. That's how you recharge my battery. Your batteries. Yeah. It's not saying like, well, this is what I want, and that's it. You have to get with the program or get out. Yeah, it doesn't yeah, happen yeah. like that. So discuss so, beforehand and sort all that out. Yeah. So yeah, that's it really on how yeah. we dealt with yeah, vacation. Vacations. Yeah. yeah, and I think vacation and holidays like public holidays, Christmas and all that stuff is something that's actually really overlooked until mm. it crops up and then it's like then they oh. start fighting about family yeah and it's something yeah. that like we always tell you guys like always try and have all these things in place before something happens and then it catches you mm. uh, off guard and then you're arming and arming and then again and you're it's fighting each other fighting right? each other it's not necessary mm. so so guys i hope you've enjoyed how we deal with holidays and vacations and again if you have any comments or suggestions that you would like to share with everyone, we really would appreciate mm. it if you can put it in the comment section uh, down there. And um, give this video a thumbs, thumbs up, up and share it with your friends and family. You know, it might help other people just like open their eyes yeah, and like look think, it from another viewpoint. Yeah, yeah. think of things differently. Things don't have to be something that causes stress mm. and arguments all the time. I, I don't believe arguments is something that really needs to be cropping up every two seconds. You definitely can deal with that. Uh, so yeah, give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. We really appreciate that. And on that note, 
We're gonna leave you guys. And make sure you subscribe. Oh yeah, thank See you. you. <laughs> Bye. Take care. Bye. Everyone, welcome to another Q and A session where we answer your questions. And today's question is from.